In this example, we're going to do a third example of solving a recurrence relation for an explicit formula. This one's a little bit more difficult than the previous two problems that we've done. Before we begin, why don't you pause the video and give it a try? This one's a little bit more complicated, as I mentioned. So I've given you a hint. As part of your solution, you're going to want to use the fact that this here up in the upper corner is the sum of a geometric sequence. So in there somewhere, you're gonna have a geometric sequence and a summation of a geometric sequence in particular. And you're gonna use that to get your equation, your, your explicit formula for this problem. Okay, well hopefully you've had enough time to give it a shot. You've paused the video, you've given it a shot. Now let's go over this. So let's first start and see if we can find the pattern. So I'm gonna go through C2 and I'm going to use this, this recurrence relation we have. So this is three times C of two minus one is one plus one is three times one plus one. Three times C3 is three times C2 plus one. And again, I'm gonna start by substituting these in. So C2, I'm gonna substitute, I'm gonna get rid of the three times one and just call that a three plus one plus one. And now here's part of what makes this more difficult. If you stick with doing this and not simplifying at all, it's a, gonna be really hard to find the pattern. These problems are not all the same. You're not gonna be able to use the same technique to solve every one of these problems. It's kind of like puzzles, right? You're gonna to have to play with it and fiddle with it until you can come up with something that works. So if you didn't, were not able to solve it on your own, I'm gonna give you another hint and then maybe you wanna pause it and give it another try. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partially solve this. I'm going to simplify this statement, but not simplify it all the way. I'm gonna say that this is three squared plus three plus one. And now you see where this hint is gonna come in useful because now I have a sum of a geometric sequence. But if you wanna pause the video now and try to finish solving it, that would be great. Okay, so let's continue. This is gonna be three times C sub three plus one, which is gonna be three times three squared plus three plus one, all plus one. And I'm gonna partially simplify it to this is three cubed plus three squared plus three plus one. And then let's do, we can do one more. C5 equals three times C sub four plus one. This is three times three cubed plus three squared plus three plus one, plus one. And if we work this out, we're gonna get three to the fourth, plus three to the third, plus three squared, plus three, plus one. And now something important to notice is that three is the same as three to the power of one. And the number one is the same, I'm gonna erase this, as three to the power of zero, right? Because any number to the power of zero is gonna equal one. So this is gonna give us the sum of a geometric sequence. So what we can do is we can notice that C to the N is going to be three so notice here we had c to the five gave us three to the four. So c to the n is going to be three to the n minus one. 
plus 3 to the n minus 2 all the way down. 3 to the 1 plus 3 to the 0. And we're going to rewrite this and finish on the next page. So I've just rewritten this summation up here. And now I'm going to rewrite it as a summation in summation format. So I can say c of n equals the sum from i equals 0, because we're starting at 0, to i equals n minus 1 of 3 to the i. So notice this is a little different. We're not going to n. We're going to n minus 1. So you have to keep track of those boundaries. But if we keep track of those boundaries and we substitute this in to our formula, we're going to have that this is our r is 3. Let's make a note of this. So we have r equals 3. And this, this, this is kind of the confu confusing part. We're going to replace this with n minus 1 because that's what we have for our upper bound. So this is going to be n minus 1. So we're going to have that this is 3 to the n minus 1 plus 1. So n minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. And if we simplify that, we're going to get that this is 3 minus 1, oh, 3 to the n, excuse me, 3 to the n minus 1 over 2. And that is going to be our explicit formula. Except we can't forget to specify over what values. n greater than or equal to, now look at this. What can n equal in our scenario here? It looks like n could equal 0, but that's not true. That's i, not n. You have to be very careful. Our starting value is over here at 1. So n is greater than or equal to 1, and we have our final explicit formula. So that was definitely a little bit more difficult than the previous videos, but step by step, hopefully that made plenty of sense.